Maestro, if we can call you that, to just shake things up right from the very beginning. Our project involves what we're calling now the Fallen 66. It has to do with uh, those Tuskegee uh, Airmen pilots mm -hmm. um, that were killed. We, we now find that there's a, uh, we might have our numbers wrong, that there might be many others. And, mm -hmm. uh, there are some crew people that are involved. But uh, the, we feel that families have not gotten closure. Mm -hmm. um, those of us who don't know that they died need to understand it. Right. Uh, and that's the case in any war. There's no two ways about that. But uh, through your efforts and the efforts of a, of a lot of other people, uh, the Tuskegee Airmen in the last 20 years have become more known. I had a conversation with the, some of the older airmen and asked that specific question, and they, they are proud of the fact that in this last couple of decades, um, it's been more pronounced. What are your thoughts about the fallen 66? Well, I mean, it, it's a fact of war that some men go missing. And that's worse, actually, than getting the, the telegram that says, you know, your son or daughter or father uh, have, um, you know, fallen in the service of the country. Because it leaves this aching feeling of not knowing what happened. And so I think it's um, very important to try to resolve that issue. Um, and obviously we've been struggling through all the wars. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, obviously we've been struggling through all the wars uh, since World War II to try to identify as many of the missing as possible in terms of uh, the efforts of the country to you know, spend a great deal of time and energy to do that. Um, I think it's the same thing uh, whenever you get an advocacy group, mm -hmm. like what you're talking about, it always helps a lot in terms of getting, um, you know, the uh, Department of Defense or whoever you're dealing with to sort of pay attention. And so I think it's a good, good uh, idea. Also, you can spread the word, get contacts, and have more influence over uh, people who might know things. Well, isn't it interesting, though, how media, um, television, film, um, um, can aid in starting movements? I'm thinking back uh, some 30 years ago to uh, Roots and mm -hmm. the big movement, the huge movement that that started in, in people. And it, it had nothing to do, in a lot of people's minds, with um, what Roots was about other than the core thing, which was the ability some kind of way or the need, uh, desire to find out where in the world you came from. Right. And so some kind of way through the, 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 an effort that we assume is going to be enormous with the archivists uh, and uh, uh, Dr. Ruth Jackson, I don't know if you've uh, no, no, mm. met her, um, um, and the stuff at the DOD um, that we can begin to ask questions that make sense, make connections that make sense, and out of all of that, come up with some answers and feel better about the process. How do you feel about your part in media building that makes a lot of these things happen? Are, well, are you aware of that? Well, I am. I mean, one of the reasons I did the film was to um, give young people today a sense of their own history, mm -hmm. which a history that, you know, when you really get down to it, they don't really have sure. much... Uh, available to them in the in the media, right? And uh, so, uh, and again, I the the problem is the people who uh, become part of say Black history are the exceptional ones, the you know the Martin Luther Kings, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Douglases, the people you know people who are way above everybody else. Uh, and I wanted to make a movie about just regular guys, regular people, like everybody else, just like the rest of us, and teenagers, 19, 20, 22 years old kids who went out and became heroes and, and helped save the country from a, you know, a very horrible fate, um, that anybody can be a hero. Anybody who's part of this 
culture of ours can help make it better. Even a filmmaker? Even a filmmaker. Even a filmmaker. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's part of it just to say this is part of your history. This is part, these guys went out and did extraordinary things. And um, again, it's that, it's that story of ordinary people doing extraordinary things. That's what a real hero is. I'm excited about the notion that people with new technology can begin to tell stories that perhaps they uh, couldn't tell before for lack of a way to do it. Yeah, well, again, the biggest problem with Red Tails ultimately was that it was three movies. Mm -hmm. And just to squeeze into two hours all the information, all the stories, everything, uh, was impossible. And the one thing a filmmaker has to do is say, well, I can only tell two hours of this. It, you know, that's all I have available to me at this point. So I'm going to go for the two hours that I think will get the, uh, the widest audience. And I want to make a movie. What I wanted to do was make a movie that was an action thriller, exciting, but had all the undertones of all the other issues that were going on. But basically about pilots, people who love to fly and the, the problems they had in terms of the challenges they faced every day, just in terms of going up in those airplanes and, and doing combat. Uh, there was a whole other one about how they got there in the first place, and there was another one later on about how they came back and you know basically started the civil rights movement. Those are also great movies and great issues to be told uh, to by, be told by somebody. Mm -hmm. And my hope was that by telling this one, mm -hmm. somebody else would come out and say, "Well, I'm going to make a sequel to that." Mm -hmm. You know, I want to tell that story too. And I keep telling people the best stories have yet to come. You know, and they're not as complicated or expensive as the one I told. <laughs> you know, I, I, and, and I couldn't, without, techno, without technology, I couldn't have told the story. So I like to make entertaining movies, but I like to make them about something. And all of my films are about something. They have themes, and they're about issues. And um, the, uh, you know, when I started out and I was in college, and I think the films had a tendency to be a little depressing and bitter and the way it is when you're in college, when you realize the world isn't the way you were told it was. Uh, and it wasn't until later that I realized that sort of inspiring movies, inspirational movies, actually have much more of an effect on people. And, uh, you know, it just has a, you know, the audience and the kids that come up to you and the people that talk to you and say, you changed my life and you did this, don't happen in movies that say we live in a terrible world. They only happen in movies where you say, yes, we live in a terrible world, but we can actually do something about it. Do you think... and? and and there it is. Do you believe that in the future there may be more collaborative kinds of projects that involve film and live and, and, and? Well, I mean, the theater is using film now. Uh, and so, you know, there's a lot of things that are crossing over. The thing that's the most important now, obviously, is digital hmm. and the digital medium. And, and that's the thing, you know, with a film like Red Tails, uh, which is so exciting, which is uh, it's now out on DVD, but pretty soon you know, it will be, you can get it on your iPhone, you can get it you know, on your laptop, you can put it in your library, you can, you know, it's much easier to do those things than it was before. Will you allow a company to, will you license a company to uh, divide it up in a way that it can be shown to the yeah. 500, uh, to the populations of Indian Africa? On their yeah. uh... no, that'll definitely be happening. Mm -hmm. you know, and we've been promoting, promoting very strongly to encourage corporations and people to either like donate a DVD to a school, um, and we put a lot of DVDs in schools ourselves. But also, once it gets online, to um, help schools have availability of that. It seems like uh, th there's a corner turned, where it is not. I know it's not just performance and film for film's sake. You know, I mean, I know there's always a deeper thing, but it seems like you may be going a different direction now. I don't know if you can. Well, it's uh, in terms of what, having a message or? No, going back to whatever your mind, whatever your yeah. mindset was prior to four years ago. Well. I mean, the Red Tails is the last of my movies that, you know, again, I've been working on for 20 years. So it's, mm -hmm. it's the last of a set of movies that I've been working on for a long, long time. 
And uh, so uh, I'm very proud that I finished it because I finished <laughs> everything I started. Good. And um, so uh, in terms of, and it was successful and you know, it's influenced a lot of people and I think it will continue in the future. Yeah, 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 but where are you going next? Well, now I'm going to, I'm basically retiring. So I'm going back to doing the kind of movies that I used to do when I was in film school. I'm sort of experimenting with the medium now mm -hmm. and seeing what you can do in the medium in terms of telling stories and the way you go about it. Um, it's kind of esoteric, and I doubt if anybody will ever see the movies, but no, we'll it's see. an interesting, <laughs> there may be some interesting insights that are gained. Okay, and are any of these going to be five, ten-minute kinds of things that can play on these handhelds? And uh, um, I am not sure. I'm more of a long-form person, so I don't know whether I can switch over to something short. Uh, so, uh, you know, I have a tendency to go for the the, the movie, the two-hour movie, but sometimes I'm tempted by going to... Uh, television where you can have, you know, five or eight hours or ten hours or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. E even longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More fascinated with that. I understand. <laughs> George Lucas, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs> okay.